YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here. I want to do some testing with um, these lures that can raise creatures. So this is where we can spawn a Saigor. Uh, that's a lure of the wild. Let's grab a couple more of these guys and I'm going to uncheck all abilities except for the one that spawns a Saigor. Do the same thing here. Get rid of all the spells, items, mounts. Okay. Don't need any of the ability. Well, let's actually do keep the ability because it'll help charge reserves faster. Okay. So what I'm curious to see is can Bray Shamans with the Lore of the Wild stack up basically and uh, each be used to spawn multiple Saigors? Uh, and if so, how many would you be able to spawn in the course of a battle? So that's basically my only objective here, is to spawn a trash load of Saigor. I'm just gonna, everything I bring is gonna be focused on the recharge rates. Yeah, no, that's important, so is Saigor. Alright, so basically all my guys are meant for is spawning Saigon. I'm just going to get some units to protect them. I don't need great swords over here for the Empire. We're just going to give them a bunch of spearmen. So they can rush me. And let's see what happens. So the winds of magic are going to have to be high enough. So I mean, it does take 16 winds of magic. But the question is, can you spawn one Saigor per army per game? Or is it one Saigor per Bray Shaman per game? Can I spawn multiple Saigors? Because basically what would happen here is that if you bring two of these guys, you'd be paying 1,200 gold to get 3,200 worth of units by using your magic reserves to replace um, to replace uh, gold. That's essentially the trade. So, and some people think it's OP for units to be able to spawn like that. I mean, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, like, you are trading magic for it, and magic is a pretty big deal um, if used properly. So we'll see. But if you can spawn multiple from different wizards, that's kind of... Yeah, okay. So... But we don't have the Winds of Magic. Let's see what happens when the Winds of Magic come back. So we got one Saigor. We're going to let him turn around and open fire. We need 16 Winds of Magic. And if this unlocks, then that can... Yep. So it is one Saigor per Shaman per game. So bringing four of them is probably pointless because it does take 16 wins of magic. But being able to bring two Saigors for the cost of less than one, um, again, you're going to trade all of your wins of magic, essentially, to do this. But if you think the Saigors are that worth it, I don't know. So is this a really big deal? I don't know. It probably really should be limited to just one, I would think, just to keep you know the spawning from becoming nonsense. Um, let's see. It takes so long for the Winds of Magic to charge up from this point. Let's see how fast we can push this back up. Yeah, so there the Winds of Magic are back up again. Get a third Saigor. I mean, so it, is it worth it? I don't know. You have to bring... I've got five Shamans on the field here, boosting up the power reserve, so... I don't know if this is really worth it. But, I mean, a Saigor is a 1,600 gold unit. And I've already got three of them. We'll see if we can go for a fourth. Yeah, we can. So it wasn't actually too terribly hard to get four Saigors up. These guys didn't, didn't take a terribly long time. So in terms of total cost, that's 6,400 gold worth of Saigors that I was able to bring to the uh, battlefield. And I want to say that it was under 900 for each wizard. And I might be able to get one more Saigor if there's enough reserve left. There's six in the power reserve, but we're only getting one every... 30 seconds. So yeah, I think I could technically eventually get a, a, a fifth Saigor up. 
So, yeah. I don't know. What do you all think? Do you think this is a problem? Do you think it's not a problem? Uh, I don't know how feasible this is in a real battle for someone to be waiting around this long for all the Cygors, but I don't know. If they deploy way in the back and then use that Arcane Conduit, they might be able to pull it off. Are Cygors OP? Are there units that kill them really easy? I, I'm just I'm asking these questions. I'm not exactly sure what I think of this. I mean, just right off the bat, it feels like something I don't like. Um, but I'm just not sure if it's like truly a really big deal. Yeah, after enough time, I would have been able to get a fifth Cygor up with, with Malagor. So, I don't know. It's up to you. Tell, tell me what you think. Um, again, part of the reason I'm doing this is because I want to review some of the unit abilities and stuff in this patch just to be able to give feedback to Creative Assembly. So, conversation helps. Leave your thoughts. I'll see you all next time.